I, I just feel like it's it's just shoved down our throat. Like, and right. It's just like, you know, because the, 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 the Brittany Griner, who's a prisoner in Russia, yeah. it's like I, I, every day I see some variation of the same basic post. Like, this WNBA star, if this was a male star, everyone would be up in arms. Yeah, because m people care about men's basketball. <laughs> like, if Steph Curry was in jail, we're going to be pissed. We're going to be hot. But Brittany Griner was a huge star, though. But are you a huge star if you get 2,000 people was. in your games? No, but... Yeah, college, but it, it, she, how women, can you be women, a, peak, yeah. women peak in college. You have to agree that these women basketball players, they are huge stars in college. They just are. But, Brittany Griner but is a huge star in college. Stars. Big stars. But that's, but that's, that's not the argument. I, I, that's I, like I, saying... I still feel That's like, like saying who's the tallest midget. <laughs> yeah. No, really... It's not far off. I, I feel like even the college game, like the women's final four is like forced down our throats. Yeah. Like when you watch Sports Center, it's like they, there's almost this conscious effort to show you the highlights. And I did this last year. I watched two of the final four games. The final four games were decided on horrific blunders in bad basketball. And that's my impression of women's basketball. In a vacuum, Oh, you know, women, it's kind of cool that a woman can play and do some stuff with a basketball. But when you watch the game, it's not a high-level basketball. And a lot of games, including like Final Four national title games, are defined more by misplays than they are made plays. And that's a reality. And that's not a good fucking product. And that, you know, to me, if I tune in... Once or twice a year, because ESPN has told me, you know, well, Final Four, Final Four, and I see bad basketball and a chick miss a bunny layup in a Final Four game to lose and then fall to the ground crying, I'm not coming back. You haven't got me. You know, that's that's the reality of this. And we keep that, that's, that's around that. That's, that's the, the, the problem is, like what Pink says, we're not having an honest conversation. The reality is the only people who watch – uh, women's basketball are the coaches. <laughs> women bas women women athletes don't even watch women's basketball. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So if we're not so if we're not gonna be honest, that that's what they do themselves a disservice because they're comparing themselves to the men's game when it's a completely different product. It's it, they they just play basketball. That's the only thing they have in common is they play basketball. And, and the other the other thing again when I talk about the force feed thing, like like uh, Candace Parker is now part of like a lot of pregame shows. There's another lady, uh, Sheeny something. She's on ESPN with a lot of NBA stuff, and it's like they're like active WNBA players doing you know, right. broadcasting gigs, and it's like they're it's like they're just being force fed to us. Yeah, some of them are terrible. One of the one of the black girls on ESPN. I mean, she's just god awful. I have to turn it every time she talks. But some of them are right. Really some of them are really good, though. I mean, but there's, and, uh, what's there's the the really respected woman broadcaster who does NBA games, um, uh, Doris Burke. Yeah, like she's like you know she's good. Like she's she's come up and, and she's just a, does she's her a dope, thing. Yeah, and that's like and you respect her. And like I don't like, I, I mean I'll be honest, with you, I do not. It doesn't even register when Doris Burke's doing a game. It's I just tune normal. in and it's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. that's 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 the essence of professionalism, and it's good. And it's like, but some of these other situations, you're looking at like, you know, yeah, why why is Candace Parker here? Like her takes are terrible. Like you know, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but and, but but and that's the thing about sports. Sports is the only place where you are you are supposed to be allowed to be honest. So if you, so if you if you shoot a a jump shot and you hit a brick and then we're allowed to say that was a terrible shot. Yeah. We're allowed to say that he sucks. He can't shoot. So now we bringing in these feelings. We're not allowed to be honest. We're not allowed to say, Hey, Candace Parker, that, that take was ridiculous. No. Like, like, like you, yeah. you, you remember, you're, well, I, I like what he's saying because, and I, where I noticed that thing a lot is, um, when when you they do telecasts of college sports games, the men's or women's the the broadcast teams are are just extraordinarily like positive to an annoying degree, but when you do an NBA or NFL game, the broadcasters are way more honest. You know, they'll they'll say that you know that guy's getting eaten alive or that's a bad play or they'll they'll say it. The college it's like you watch a college game it becomes nauseating. Everybody's a great student athlete. Everybody's an all American. 
bullshit. This guy's getting his ass kicked left and right. He can't block his own shadow, and his quarterback's taking a beating. Say the obvious. Stop dancing around this stuff. Yeah. Is that is, and I think when you when you when you getting paid to do the sport, and now the athletes are able to like monetize their lobby, their likely their likeness, and that kind of stuff in the, in the NCAA. So now they're able to kind of get paid. So now we're well, not even kind of they're allowed to get paid now. So now that you're getting paid, you're allowed to be honest with a professional athlete, an athlete who's getting paid to do what they're doing. So I'm allowed to say you're not up to the level of what. I'm used to in a professional athlete, but you're not like, like, you know, you guys are getting into like a, 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 a window. You just don't want to open, man, because what window is that? You, you, you know, you just can't say certain things about women. Let's just come on. Let's, let's just fucking be honest, man. Some things you just can't say. You have to butter things up. You if have to, be but that, nicer. But, if you're in a relationship, but, no, hey, but you, Bubba, you have to protect. That, Bubba, that, that's the problem. Sports shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be, but it's not a, it, 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 it surpasses. It extends sports. It's, it's really is the, the dynamic between men and women. And men cannot talk down on women in any capacity. And I'm not saying but, it's but, right or wrong. It's just but, the way the fucking society works. Now, hold on. But that, and, uh, hold on. I'm you talk. Hold on. Let me sneak this last part in, right? And you react to that. You can't, like, right? So you can't talk down on them and uh, because of society. But on the, flip side, on the flip side of that, which is just fucking crazy and weird, that's just, that's a part of uh, double, double, um... Double standards. Double standards. It's a part of double standards because you know what I mean. That women don't want to be a part of. That's the fucking. That's what I'm talking about, and that's the window. And you're jumping in that window, but you're you're going to be that one that doesn't protect the black woman that's playing these sports, um, and and Brittany Griner and all these other stuff. That's the window I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't. I don't but so 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 on so on my so on my YouTube channel. I, I briefly covered the whole Brittany Griner thing, right? And at, and at the end, what I what I lament is what you're asking for as a woman. You're not asking in that in that regard. You're not asking to be equal. You're actually asking for preferential treatment yes. because you're asking you're asking for something that you're that the men don't ask for. But and if they do ask it. for it. Right. If they do ask for it, we're going to we're going to rebuke that to the highest degree. Like even with, with Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook is like, well, they're calling me names. Us as sports fans are really sports enthusiasts. We're saying that goes that comes with the game. <laughs> so 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 if you're asking for us to not engage or patronize professional sports in the way that we patronize professional sports with the men. Because you're a woman, then that's not equal to the men. That's actual preferential. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's that's a part of it as well. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't know. I, just, I mean, at the end of the day, the market for them dictates their income, and so there's no there's no financial equity argument to be made. If they filled stadiums, if they drew the TV audience that the men, then they deserve the same pay. So anything short of that is is the reality. And so, you know, and then as far as the, the game itself, it's just not a good product. Yeah. Jimmy Jimmy Green are saying us, us three are clueless. Of course she is. She's oblivious <laughs> to, to any of this. Like, what, you know? I feel like I'm being, I'm being neutral right now, man. You're I'm being neutral. Be, but you haven't hit a point yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man, it's just a topic you just have to stay away from. Why? Because but why it's, though? it's a it's a lose lose argument. It's it's not going away, and it's going to stay there. And we, you're going to have to allow it to be forced down your throat because it's not going anywhere. You can't. It's, it's like it, the society is not going to allow you to talk bad on women's sports on women. Period. I do regularly. I'm mean, with impunity. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, then, then we we don't have to. Re Seriously, I do. Like, you know, there's no penalty to this. I call it what it is. I say that I resent this being force fed upon me. Um, maybe someday it'll change. Maybe it won't. But I mean, to say it and be honest about it is is, is a gift. There's no point in, in pretending that this is okay. 
Like if something is bullshit, you have a duty to call it out. Is that? Is that the, the, see? See, that's the the thing is we don't we don't have to say that's just the way it is. The great thing about sports is sports is the great equalizer. Because we don't have to say it, that's just the way it is. We can say, let's decide this in between the lines. So any argument that does not in, that does not include in between the lines and it's all this emotional and we have to do this because it's a woman, those things are not valid in between the lines. No, that's true. Because 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 when when you when there's men playing a, a sport and we say what what happened with Paul George in the bubble? Hey, my mental my mental health is affecting my play. I can't do this. We collectively, as a sports patronage, we we said, "May soft." So, and that was all fair in between the lines. So if you so if you so if you arguing. Equal pay and equal this and women are this and women women should do this because it's sports and we're then everything is fair in between the lines. So when you play basketball for 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 instance, and we're talking about women's basketball, if it's not entertaining to us or it's not competitive, we're allowed to say this is your championship, this is your finals. It's not competitive. It's not enjoyable. We don't want it because all is fair in between the lines. We're not saying we don't like it because you're a woman. And the reality is the majority of people are doing that because they're not attending these games. Not attending, and not the watching. viewership's not high on this yeah. stuff. And it speaks for itself. That that drives everything. If a, if a women's basketball game or whatever you know, outdrew a men's game, either live audience or, or, you know, or TV or combination thereof, they would all get more money. It's that simple. Yeah, I think I I, I think the key is they need to, um, and now they can with the NILs. They need to cash in on their college because a lot of these women, the WNBA is uh, is on a lower scale than than college women's college basketball. Because these yeah, but, but you have to agree that these guys are stars in college. Brittany Grinder was a real fucking star in college. The same with the 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 pretty guard. Uh, and I, that's a shame. I know I can't remember her name, but there's, there's been a few of them. A few pretty good. But you, but, yeah. but you know, you know, you know, you know why she's a star in college. Candace Parker. She was a bigger star you, in college than WNBA. You, you know, you know why they're stars in college. Why? Because because they have a built-in fan base. Because the, the fans are rooting. They're not rooting for the team. They're rooting for the school. Yeah. No, you're right. So, so what? No matter so, what they're rooting for. No, because I mean, honestly, I'm I'm from Connecticut. And when the Connecticut women UConn, got oh, yeah. good, winning the basketball, I, I started watching some games. Yeah, I you know I, I wouldn't watch during the year, but when they got in the tournament, I usually be, be yeah. But when there was their a when there was a star, no matter what year it was, you watched their games. Whether it was Brittany, no, with, but, no, whether it was Brittany Griner with Baylor, you watched the Brittany Griner game. I don't care who you are. No, no you're a basketball fan, you watched the Brittany Griner game. Oh, no, no, but you, but you're not. You're not you're not watching you're not watching because you're a Brittany Griner fan. You're watching because of greatness. The same way the yeah. same reason we watch we we watch we watch Venus Williams play tennis and we don't watch tennis. Right, right. It's the same thing. So, yeah. so, but but that same great Brittany Griner went to the WNBA. and I still haven't seen a game. <laughs> yeah, because all, all because saying. you because because you weren't rooting for Brittany Griner. You're rooting for Brittany Griner to dominate. In a field that has a fan base. And that's that's my view. Well, no, I, no, I actually, I, I do think, but there is a strange phenomenon with that, because, like, and, and I, but I agree with you. Like, I was drawn to Connecticut because I grew up there and I knew UConn, and so I was rooting for the brand to have success. Now, when you're from Connecticut, there's not a lot of success in Connecticut, and so even a women's title resonates. It's like, holy crap, we did it. Yeah, you know, and you feel that, so you are rooting for the brand. But Brittany Griner in college, it's very interesting because and I, a handful of these girls have come through the college system, and as a general sports fan, you become aware of them. Mm -hmm. You hear the name, what's going on with this girl, and then yeah, you might check it out. But the problem is, and you're hoping to see greatness. But what happens is, is the product is so bad that greatness doesn't matter. I don't know. I do. 
because that's why nobody continues to watch it. They do. No. They when those don't. girls get good in college, those ratings are high, and they, they, and then they, they stay, go to the, the pros the to play with other yes, great I know, girls. I know, I know. And it drops but I'm not off. talking about that. That's but where they're connected. They, they, they are connected. They're, they're connected. But what I'm saying is, these women need to take advantage in college. That's my only point. No matter but, what, but that, what happens after that, I don't know. And I think with these NILs, they can, but they have to fucking take advantage or whatever. But the, the reality is, the reality is with the NILs, their NILs are going to be different. They're going to be, yeah. they're going to be sex. But they're still there. They're going to be sex.